Hey there, Planet Poke people, it's me, Diogen Z, here with another edition of Pokemon of the Week. Now we're going to move into the rarely used tier, and unlike last week, which I got many complaints of, Why are you picking such a bum Pokemon, man? We're going to move into one of my favorites, Gallade and the Swordsman of Justice set. Now, what makes this a Swordsman of Justice is its ability Justified, which when hit with a Dark-type attack, makes its physical attack rise one stage. So you obviously see a benefit to switching in on a prediction of a dark type move. Obviously pursuit won't do because it pursues the Pokemon already on the field back to the ball so you won't get a successful switch. But another option you have is if you happen to be in a double battle with Gallade, maybe you could use a dark type with a weak dark move like pursuit to power up its attack even further than what you can already do with your move Sword Stance, which therein lies the sword. Now, of course, since it's a physical sweeper, you're going to want to max out physical attack of 252, max out that speed so it's quick on the draw of smiting your foes. And in the realm of smothering your foes with massive attacks, you want to include close combat, which is a powerful base 120 fighting type move so you'll get a stab boost from that on top of doing the sword stance preferably before you start attacking your foes however be mindful that it will leave you wide open lowering your defense and special defense by one stage so do what you're going to do with this massive power quickly anticipate taking out a foe with super effectiveness fast and then perhaps switching it back if you still want to utilize the sweeper later in the match Zen Headbutt, the obvious other choice to bring Stab to its max potential, since it's a Psychic Fighting type. And Night Slash to combat the Ghost types that it is weak to. Now you may want to rearrange some moves here, maybe you don't like having your defenses diminished. So instead of Close Combat, I would recommend Stone Edge or even Leaf Blade. Especially Stone Edge though, because that will retaliate against those Flying types who think they'll be faster than you and smite your fight. Another set I want to take a look at, inspired directly from Smogan, especially when it comes to the effort value laying out, is the Precautious Puncher set. And what this set does, different than the main sweeper, you still have Sword Stance, you still have Justified to give you the benefit of taking a dark move and transforming it into an attack boost of one stage, but the effort values are a little different. Instead of maxing out speed to get the jump on your opponents, there's more focus on health so you could stay on the field longer. And how do you keep one-upping and re-upping that health so you remain? With Drain Punch. Now Drain Punch is wonderful because not only do you get health back, but you also don't have any stage decrease in your defense or special defense like you did in the ways of close combat. You still have the same basic setup for moves that would be useful, Night Slash and Zen Headbutt, Zen Headbutt and Drain Punch being Stab, Night Slash to combat the ghosts, and Sword Dance to power it up. But do take a look at the additional moves, because if you want to consider doing something different, not performing your attacks at such a high level with Sword Stance, but taking in lower increase with bulk up and also bulking up your defense, it can make this Precautious Puncher last even longer if it's up against a physical threat. So that is the set for Gallade. Let me know what you think below. If you've battled with Gallade before and have some battle footage, be sure to post it in a video response. Remember to subscribe to Planet Poke for all this and other amazing Pokemon content. I'm going to be doing some openings of uh, TCG collection boxes, some really cool things that I got. A gigantic EX is on the way. And also those of you who've been commenting about life in the box, unbeknownst to you, I just recently moved into college in Colorado from Jersey, so it's been a transition. And finally, I've got all the actors in their places, so I just gotta go get a tripod, and life in the box will resume quite shortly. Do know though, that it's almost to season two, and then we'll have a big break in between so I can stockpile some episodes, do some writing, and all that good stuff. But in the meantime, check out my channel, youtube.com backslash DOGENZ, for effort value expertise, so you can figure out exactly how do you change these mysterious invisible values called effort values. I have that on my channel, and I'll leave a link in the end of this video for you to click. See you next week.